In other news today, when you graduated from high school, be honest, did you know how to balance your checkbook or how about choose the right insurance plan or make investments? Well, a new South Carolina bill could make lessons like those a requirement in order to graduate. News 19's Kaylin Hagwood spent the afternoon learning about the bill and has more on how it could affect you or your kids. Ah, high school. A time for lessons both in and out of the classroom. You get to know a lot about the world, but how much do you really know about how to be an adult after graduation? Skills like budgeting, investing, and learning how to balance a checkbook are just a few aspects of personal finance you're sure to use once you've crossed the stage. But how many high schoolers are truly ready to use them? That's how wealth is created, and everybody needs that exposure. Jim Morris is the CEO over the nonprofit South Carolina Economics. We, we need to try to get our students at various levels creating a, um, a better life for yourself over time based on your financial decisions and choices. A new South Carolina bill could require high schoolers to pass a personal finance class to graduate. So News 19 asked your thoughts about it on Facebook. Hundreds commented, many in agreement with the bill, others asking, why are schools just now considering this? Personal finance has been in the classroom uh, and a required piece, but it was sort of buried in the economic standards. His organization has worked with the Department of Education to make sure aspects of personal finance are more out front. As for the bill, opponents say it could add another frustrating layer of testing on teachers. Morris feels the discussion alone is a step in the right direction. That is everybody's domain because they need that to become wealthy. Reporting in Columbia, Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX. All right, of course, right now this is just a bill, and we will let you know as it moves its way through the State House.